Hey everyone, Sean here. I have a Sega 32X behind me that is doing absolutely nothing. Oh, we got green. I'm not joking, that is the first time that has ever happened. I have tested this like 43 times. We have a new color. What is that? Why did it go green? Well, hang on a second. Um, whoa, we have, a, we have another new color. That's, what is happening? Okay, I messed with it some more and uh, it's still not working. Um, this is what it used to be doing where we'd get the Sega logo and then it goes black. I don't know why it was doing that color thing there. That was new. I cleaned everything again and it's back to doing this, which is you get, you get the kind of Sega warning. Oh, now we're, now we're going back to colors. I don't know what's wrong with it. So it, it has issues, clearly. This is not supposed to be this color. So I know this game works, and I've tested other known working games in this system, and none of them work. So there's clearly something wrong with this 32X. So let's take this thing apart and see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. So if you would, join me over here on the blue mat, and let's see if we can figure out what's wrong with this 32X. All right, so let's... Let's take this thing apart here. Also, before anyone asks, I do know that, that Sega Genesis does work as well. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but we did get the Sega kind of like uh, logo up there for a minute. So it's, it's clearly kind of working. Something in here is not working, which is frustrating because I paid full price for this. I did not buy this as a broken unit like I normally do on this channel where I buy something broken to save some money and just kind of fix it for you guys or whatever. No, I actually bought this from a video game store that assured me it worked, but they did not have a cable to show me that it works. They said, oh yeah, no, we know this works, but uh, we don't have that cable that goes from the Sega Genesis to the 32X, this little cord here. Uh, by the way, oh, this is a very cheap cord, but they said they don't have one, and and uh, they, so they can't prove that it works. So I had to just kind of trust them, and I bought it, and shocker to my surprise, this thing does not work, which is kind of a bummer. These aren't exactly the cheapest thing out there. They're not ridiculously expensive, you know? They're not like a Neo Geo, or like one of those crazy rare consoles, but I mean, they're not the cheapest thing. I've never taken apart one of these and I've never actually seen what's on the inside of one of these. So this will be a fun little adventure for all of us. Okay, that just pops off. He is very dusty inside. Not seen anything too crazy just yet. Right, let's take off the RF shielding now. Okay, do we see any capacitors bulging or leaking? Those all look fine, other than just being dusty. Well, let's take a look down here. Okay, taking those off did nothing. Uh, <laughs> I think we have to dismantle this more before we can get to that part. I don't know what these screws do, but we can try taking those out. I'm just gonna start removing screws, to be honest. Oh, okay. Well, there's definitely a dead mosquito in here so that's that's fun oops I don't think the dead bug was of any structural structural importance so I'm gonna be removing that
We definitely have some weird thing in here that I don't know if I can get out, but something crawled in the pins. And the fact that there's something in there is probably not good. Okay. I got them out. Ugh. That does not look good at all. Uh, let me try to clean this out with some isopropyl alcohol. So uh, I just pulled a dead bug out of that slot. So I don't know if that was the issue, but kind of makes me want to pull this one apart too to see if there was something living in here too. I think I'm gonna reflow the pins on here. They all look fine, but I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a go and see if it affects anything. It certainly won't hurt to, to add fresh solder to the bottom of these pins. I can use an eraser here to clean up these pins on this. Clean it off with more isopropyl alcohol. Now, let me see if whatever I did did anything at all. Okay, okay, guys, I'm very excited. I am so excited. All right, so, all right, we're gonna awkwardly pull the camera down here. I'm tangled up in cords. Oh my God, hang on. So, don't mind the cord dangling over there. <laughs> I hooked up the 32X, you know, safely, right? It is working now, everything is working. It seems like, um, oh, I wonder if I should turn up the volume. If we have volume, oop, no, dang it. What have I done? What have I done? Oh no, 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 what have I done? Hang on. All right, let me let me put this back together and uh, we'll, we'll test it again in a second. All right, everything is put back together. Let's hit the power and see if we have a working system. Hey, look at that. All right. Oh, fantastic. Does the volume work on this? I don't even know. Okay, so the volume does work. Everything is working. Look at that. I'm gonna turn down the volume again. All right, we now have a working 32X. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Now, the funny thing is, I don't really necessarily know what I did to fix it. I don't know if it was the dead bug that had slid into the ribbon cable and was stopping it from making good connection. Uh, it was clearly like when I was looking into that the, the slot, the, the little pin had the bug between the pin and the ribbon cable itself. So I don't, I don't know if that was what was the cause of the issue or if me reflowing all of the pins with solder fixed it, but either way, doesn't matter. We have a working system again. 
I say again, I've never had this thing working since I bought it. So, so either way, we have a working 32X uh, for me for the first time ever. So I'm pretty excited about that. I can now start collecting 32X games. Since this is the first time I've ever owned a 32X, if you guys have any recommendations or any uh, suggestions of any 32X games I should buy, I'll leave it down in the comments below because I've never had a 32X before. This is the first. Bailey. Say goodbye to everybody. All right, thanks everyone. I love you all. Hope you have a wonderful day. And thanks for watching.